Hey, welcome back. Well, all month long, we have shared stories of women right here in our community who are setting the tone for young women and girls. Tonight, our Ashley Gonzalez introduces us to two women who hope to inspire others to take up space in non-traditional careers for women like they have. I would have never imagined myself coming down this path, but I just wanted to do something different from nursing. Jamie Flores was a nurse for 10 years until one day she decided to change careers and go into construction. But first, she had to go back to school. I believe 45 women who started the program and only six of us completed it. Went back to Del Mar, got a second degree, and I was I was a little uncomfortable at first, you know, being surrounded with a bunch of dudes in class, and then it just got really easy. It was something I really, really liked, and I never turned back. She's been working in construction for six years now. Usually, she's the only woman with boots on the ground in work zones. So they have concrete guys here. They have electrical guys here. I go in, I check on my guys, make sure they're following company and client policies and procedures, make sure they're working safe, they're not horse playing, doing anything out of the norm. From non-traditional careers to making history at your workplace. So I'm the first a woman to be a chief or the, that oversees the chemist, uh, the chemical process branch at the depot. Since the first time she saw a spark, Peggy Hatcher wanted to be a chemist. That ignition is passion, so the passion was chemistry. Was it easy? Absolutely not. It was not easy. Um, did I fail? Yes. Did I fail chemistry two times? Yes. But before she was the chief, she was told no because of lack of experience. But she says those words didn't stop her from trying again. Where somebody asked me, well, do you have management, you know, experience? No, I don't. You know, I'm a chemist. I want to be a chemist. They're like, nope. So what I did is I went and I walked to more plaza and and uh, applied and became an, uh, an assistant manager three months later. She says it's nice being the first female chief of her branch. But what's better is she won't be the last. Peggy hopes young ones will catch the spark like she did. I go, let's pay it forward. Let's go to the science fairs in Robstown. You know, let's go. Let's go to Toulouse Midway. Let's go to Texas A&M and do a demonstration. Let's go to, you know, so the different, the different pay it back. Uh, and it's not specific to a school, it's to the children. Both Jamie and Peggy hope to show young women they're paving the way for them. Ashley Gonzalez, 3 News. So awesome impressive. Story.